So we're in the tasting room of Lanchbage with the Jean Charles uh, Caz, and I can't wait. We're going to taste 2000, 2003, 2005, and 2009. Amazing tasting. We're going to see. This is going to be your report card because I think uh, the 2009 is is really your wine here. No? I, well, it's uh, it's an impressive wine, I think, and it's. Uh, of the vintages of, I can be held responsible for, it's probably the best one so far. Okay, good. Because you started in 2006. I started in 06, yes. Okay, well let's try the 2000. So tell me a little bit about 2000, what, you know, what, what do you remember about it? Well, 2000, well, I wasn't, in the, I wasn't really in the picture in 2000. I was living in Brazil, so I was wow. really far from the property. Uh, but um, it's uh, one of my favorite vintage because it's, it combines you know, the, the, the characteristic of a great vintage, it's opulent, it's dense, there, is a, there are some very fine tannins. Would you drink it now or would you give it a little bit more time? I, I think I could drink it now. Uh, I agree. I could drink it now, but it's, it's also one that will improve. With oh, the of course. Age. I think but even it, another year or two it will soften yeah, yeah, a little bit yeah. more. Okay, well, let's try the 2003 now. 2003, a much hotter year than Warmer than year, 2000. a little bit of a controversial vintage. Yeah, uh, I always liked it. A lot of people say the wines are, are forward, not aging well. The top ones I've tasted are still very fresh. Yeah. Look at the color on this. Look. It's got a very nice color. Yeah. I think the, the wines that we produced in 03 uh, were juicy and uh, I think they're forward in the sense that they, uh, they're so exotic in a yeah. sense that they, they're very sexy and appealing. What, what I think is amazing with this is it's so approachable and fruity, but it hasn't taken on any sort of tertiary character. It's mm -hmm. still just primary fruits. I love that about the wines. And it's sort of soft and delicious. Okay, let's go to the five then. 05 for me is uh, another very well balanced vintage. It's got the, uh, the, the ripeness. Uh, it's, a, it's a wine for the long haul. It's really, uh, wow, it's it's really dense and tight right yeah. now, so it's difficult to compare to the 2000. Do you think in the end your 2005 is better than your 2003? I, well, if I have to choose between those two vintages, I think uh, there is more potential in a in 05 mm -hmm. for, for the long haul. Uh, however, to drink right now, if I had to pick up one, I would definitely, I would have more pleasure with the 03. And now we're going to go on to the 2009. I think this is one of the classic uh, Blanches. It reminds me of the 82, the 89, some of these amazing wines that your family made. It's a uh, to me, it's a oh. wine reminiscent of the 1989. Yeah. You know. But there is definitely more, uh, more concentration in the 2009 than maybe in uh, any vintage before. Whoa. What structure? Because I remember the exuberant fruit, but now it's taken on so much. I mean, there's a fabulous tannin backbone to the wine. No? It's, um, it's really big wine, yeah. I would say, but the, the, what strikes me is the, the finesse of the tannins. It's, there, is a, there are lots of tannins, but they're so, so soft and delicate for such a, a young wine.